If none of your windows work, first thing you want to check is this thing. So this is the circuit breaker for all the windows. So if this thing is either piece of crap. Yeah, so if it's engaged, then none of your windows will work. Or also it could be broken internally. Yeah, so you see they get old and start falling apart on the inside. So if it's not working right, that could be the cause of your issues. Um, if you know that that is working right and your, none of your windows work, you check fuse 17. Now, going down the circuit, right? If, say, your two rear windows don't work, but the two front ones work, there's a rear window lockout switch. And it's this little guy. And it could also be stuck open or shut internally. So you might have to pop it out and test it. And uh, to get to it, this thing just pops out and there's two screws holding this bracket in. And then you will be able to access all of your switches. And these are might be kind of a pain to get out. If you look down under here, there's like little tabs on the sides of these things that pop out that prevents you from pulling them straight out. With this rear lockout switch, uh, if it's engaged, you should still be able to operate the rear windows from the front. It just disables the, uh, the operation of the back ones so that kids can't mess with the windows. Uh, but, so continuing down the circuit, right? You have the switches and then you have the rear switches and then you have the motors. So if your problem is still continuing, you either have a problem with your motors or it could just be something simple like uh, mechanical binding. Like there, there's a bunch of gunk on the inside of the door that's preventing your windows from rolling up or down. And uh, to fix that, you just take the panels off, do some cleaning, grease up the tracks. Uh, We'll get to that in a moment. It looks like this lockout switch works intermittently, and that's the one that's sat there. You know. So with the button released, it's zero ohms, it's like it's supposed to be. Then sometimes when you when it presses in, it has continuity. Sometimes it doesn't. So I remove this door panel. And here's your window motor sitting in there. Uh, we're gonna do a continuity check on the motor. Looks like there is continuity. Now check the other side of the circuit. Take off the other connector. You're gonna have to reinstall the switch. All right, so I got it in there. Looks like there is continuity. Seems a little high, I don't know. We'll see. So if both sides check out, theoretically, this thing should work, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna take the motor out and uh, inspect the teeth. Maybe take the motor apart, clean the insides out, see if that helps. So with it connected back up, when I press the buttons, you could hear the motor trying to run. That tells me that there's probably some sort of mechanical binding, maybe along the teeth or something. But we're gonna take it out, take a look. When you're doing that test, you wanna have your key at the number two position, by the way. And if you removed the uh, lockout switch, you wanna uh, place a jumper. When you disconnect and reconnect this thing, make sure blue goes to blue and black goes to black so you don't have it backwards. To get this motor out, it's these three 10 millimeter screws, and then there's four Phillips heads on the inside. So you're gonna need something like this to get to them. But they, they sit on the inside and it's gonna be kind of a hassle to get them. And I'm gonna link uh, another video on how to rebuild these things. Use a number two Phillips for those back ones. All right, got the motor assembly out. These are, this is the little plate on the back. It's held in by the, uh, 
Phillips head screws, so it's like that. This is a little groove that the track sits inside, and this is the gear that turns the track. So you have to, the track sits in here, it's, you can see it in there, and the teeth go in there. So yeah, it looks like this thing is really, really gross. I think I'm gonna clean those up, uh, throw some grease on there. Probably gonna rebuild the motor, throw some grease on these, uh, on this gear. Looks like it works just fine when it's out. You could use some brake cleaner and a wire brush, uh, but you could use any sort of degreaser, hot and soapy, whatever you got. The back side of this this rail is open, so we'll be able to clean that side too. Just go all the way, all the way around, clean it up. Another point of failure to check is the wires inside this boot. Over the years with this door opening and shutting over and over, the, uh, the wires in there might break. So I think we're gonna take this off and inspect it. On this side of the circuit, this side is at 31 ohms, which is way too high. I tested the other side, and that side's less than one ohm. So that leads me to believe there's a bad connection somewhere. And, uh, Took some electric cleaner, clean up the switch a little bit. I'm gonna see if that brings the resistance down. If not, I'm gonna pull this shielding off and take a look at the wires. Yeah, cleaning the contacts on this switch brought the resistance down substantially. Take some grease and grease up the track real good. Go all the way around. Once you got it greased up real good, just move the window up and down manually a few times. With the window halfway down, you're able to see this little follower thing and uh, see all this nasty old grease. So clean that stuff out and then uh, throw some new grease in there. When you're reinstalling this motor, before you tighten everything up and put the screws back in, make sure it's sitting right that the the gear is in the track right. So just test it. You look up there, there's this little thing. You're gonna make sure that it's in all the way from both the top and the bottom. There's also one in there. Hell yeah. Okay, final step, take some silicon spray and spray out all the nasty stuff that's built up in your weather stripping and then wipe it off, let it dry up. And we're gonna take some dielectric grease and grease up all of this and we'll be done. Enjoy your windows.